Hey, I'm so honored that you're watching this. This means that you are getting something out of it. That makes me so happy. Um, we are still reading Matthew 6, where it is all about faith in secret, faith in private. What happens in private matters deeply. This is why in this uh, last couple of days I've received countless messages on my uh, Signal and Threema app that says people have newly joined this or that app. Why? Because they don't want to be invaded in private. They want to, they know the private life matters. And this is why also Jesus says, faith matters in private. What you believe and how you pray and how you are in generous, when no one watches, that is your actual faith. Let me read to you the next sentence out of the template prayer of Jesus, which is called the Lord's Prayer. It could also be called the Disciples' Prayer, someone who's following Jesus. Verse 10, ah, uh, verse 11, give us today the bread we need now. I like that verse. You know what? Um, it starts off with the tallest and biggest prayer request you could ever pray. Our Father in heaven, may your name be honored. Is there any other name higher than God? Uh, may your kingdom come. Is there any king greater than Jesus? Is there any kingdom that is bigger than him? <laughs> is there any better will or more important, stronger power that we could pray into? Like these are the highest and biggest prayer requests you can pray. And now it comes down to the very small maybe even mundane prayer requests that you could pray. Give us today the bread we eat now, now, right now. Well, give means that it acknowledges that we receive everything from God. Jesus said, what have you that you haven't received? We often are self-reliant and in the private world, we, in our, in our private lives, we tend to think that uh, we have to look for ourselves. This here brings us away from this thought to the thought that God looks after those who are His. The Father looks after you. He's interested in, in you having enough for the things that you need. Give us today means that you and your neediness and, and the things that you really have, have needs for, you're not alone in this. Everybody else might need something similar than you do. Not only do we all need food, we all need attention, we all need love, we all need respect, we all need purpose, we all need faith, we all need friends. We, we need those things because humans, we humans are needy beings. Give us today the bread we need now. Now, some people make this very religious, like this is the daily bread and man doesn't live by bread alone. Yes, doesn't live by bread alone. But you have very simple needs, like your rent has to be paid, your, your studies have to work out, your visa has to go through, um, your, your life has to be carried by God. I don't know your needs. The Father who sees in secret sees them. And this is why he wants you to voice them to him because he wants to talk to you about them. Give us today the bread we need now. Bread is something so simple. And a lot of people have tried to make bread now that in lockdown one and now that it's lockdown two. I already see the bread pictures being posted. It still is a tricky thing to get good bread. God can provide for you the best provision and bread that you need. Not only the food, but everything else that you need for every day. We tend to think it's the monthly income that actually cares for us. No, it's the daily provision of God that looks out for you. I hope this has blessed you. If you would like to be part of, of a 
church community that sustains you in your faith, grows you wherever you are, then I would love you to join online this Sunday on YouTube and uh, on, during the week in one of our connect groups. I would love to see you there.